Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my May favorites, all the products that I really, really liked for the past month. I tried to limit it down so that this video wouldn't be super, super long and just truly show you guys what I have been using for the past month. They haven't really changed up my routines much. Like if you guys have been watching my makeup tutorials lately, a lot of the products that I used are from those tutorials. I just really like the stuff that I have been using when I film and also using that same stuff off camera. But anyway, we're gonna get right into this. So first up, I absolutely have to talk about this. It's the foundation that I have been using the most and it's by Clinique. It's called Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the shade 7 Cream Chamois. The 7 definitely works perfect for me when I tan myself and I love to tan myself. Um, I used the Benefit Hula Bronzer like that, like gel cream stuff that you use a mitt to like rub all over your body. And I like my foundation to, you know, match my body. So this one has been working like a charm for me. So far, I have not experienced any breaking out with this foundation like I have heard some people say that it does to them it's very you know mattifying but not drying which is huge for me I love that and I feel like that's kind of like the look that a lot of people have been going for lately like especially on Instagram looking at all these makeup pictures it's got like a suction in there and you pull it out and then it's like a doe foot applicator the the product doesn't really come off that well on here so I feel like when I go to apply it I am taking it out like a million times to get it all over my face um, but besides that, <laughs> the actual formula of the foundation is great and so far this is the first Clinique, really the, one of the first Clinique makeup products I've ever used that I've been impressed with and feel like I keep using and I keep going back to it. Out of all the foundations that I own, you know, this is the one that I truly have been using the most and I love it. I'm like so happy that I came across it. I do want to mention these two products right here. So the first is called What's Up. Now this is from Benefit and it's like a sample size so it's super tiny. I'm probably gonna end up buying myself the uh, bigger version of this as soon as I run out because I'm totally obsessed with it. I really like it for especially highlighting on my nose. I'll just do like a little line right here and then a line going up my nose and blend it out with my finger. And then I'll usually go in with a powder product. So this is from MAC and this is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I'll go over the um, What's Up with this to set it in place and also to get more of a highlight going on there. But I notice if I just use this on its own, that it's not as shimmery and glowy as it is when I use the What's Up underneath of it. So I feel like those two together is a really good combination if you want that super bold, bright glow on certain parts of your face. If I want to go more towards the pink side and have a really nice pink glow going on, then I'll use these two products. This is Trust Fun Beauty, that glow though. And it's a highlighter I got from one of my subscription boxes. I can't remember which one, but it's just basically the same thing as What's Up from Benefit, except it's got more of a pink type of tone to it. So I'll just put this on in the exact same way and then go over top of that with my super awesome Derma Mineral Powder in Pink Sapphire from Ofra. And I will say, guys, Ofra is definitely one of my most used brands. I don't think I ever used their products before this year and I'm like so impressed. But yeah, this is just a highlighter that has pink tone to it. Very, very shimmery and sparkly and pink. <laughs> Basically looks like this. And I'll just like put a little bit onto the lid, use a fan brush and then apply it that way onto my face. It comes with so much product. Like I have, I really don't know how I'm ever going to use all of this. Like it would legit take me like 10 million years or more. I talked about this in my last favorites, I believe. This is from IT Cosmetics, another brand that I have been nonstop using this year. This is the You Sculpted Universal Contouring Palette for your face and your body. It's amazing. I mean, I use it for my eyeshadows like I did today. I use it for my body sometimes to contour, um, you know, like my neck and chest area. I love using it on my face to give a nice warmth. Like today what I did was I mostly used this color right here and this is called Medium Contour. Another one of my favorites is the Soft Contour just for like an everyday type of look. But then over here they have two highlights, one that's matte and one that's 
radiant and then a few other you know bronzers to play around with but what I love is the warmth in this palette like I love warm bronzers I love that they're matte I love that it has highlight options for you too they're very easy to blend out with really any brush they last a long time as well I, I noticed that when I put this on it stays in place I have some more it cosmetic stuff to show you guys that I've really been liking this is the tight line it's a full lash length black primer I will put my falsies on and then I will use this to just like define my natural lashes and help them blend in with the falsies and it just it works perfectly like there's it's just like a seamless transition there, there is no transition it's just a seamless like this is my lashes it literally just makes my falsies look like they are my lashes I went to see my family um, a few weeks ago and they had asked me if those were my real lashes. The lashes that I'm wearing today, actually, they're from Kiss. But yeah, the fact that they thought they were my real lashes, I was like, that's what I thought. <laughs> so uh, I also like to use this on my bottom lashes as well because as you guys can see, well, I did kind of bend it a little bit on accident. It's very fragile and bendable, but it's super, super tiny and not a lot of product comes out, which is nice. So I can work this on my lower lashes. If you have small eyes, this is going to be perfect for you. And then one last thing from It Cosmetics. I just, I can't like not talk about this. So this is my foundation brush that I've been using nonstop. It's called Love Your Skin Powder Slash Blush Brush. And this baby came in a set of, I think there was three total brushes and it was for Mother's Day, a special sale that they had going on. It came with a super cute bag. It had like a heart on it. It was so cute. It was silver and pink. I don't know if you guys have it. Um, if you watch my vlog channel and then you saw me unbox it for you guys, I gave it as a gift to uh, my boyfriend's mom for Mother's Day and she loved it. I love their brushes because they are so soft. They are very just perfect. You know, presentation itself is Beautiful. I mean, look at this brush. It's so nice. I never have an issue with fallout with the hairs. Okay, so for lip products, I have been using these two the most. They are from um, ColourPop. They are the lippy pencils. I really like just using lip pencils for my lips, you know, as an everyday type of thing. I do love my liquid lipsticks, but I'm not, I haven't really been into actual lipsticks lately. It's more been the, either the liquid lipsticks or just lip pencils on their own. So the colors that I have these in, oh, there goes the top, Aquarius and Taurus, which is my sign because I'm an April baby. The reason I love these the most are because they are great as all over lip colors, or if you want to use it as a defining lip liner on the outer corners and then go over with a liquid lipstick and it just makes your lips look so plump, especially if you are the kind of person that wants to overline slightly, which I do like to do on my top lip. And I noticed that when I use, especially the darker one in um, Taurus first as a, a liner on the outer corners and stuff of my lips, and then I go over with the liquid lipstick that it just looks like those are my lips, you know what I mean? I hate that that look where it's like obvious that you overlined your lips. I like it to still look normal. And then what I like using um, Aquarius for is just an all over lip color. For skincare guys, I wanted to mention this once again for like the a millionth time. This is the Bare Minerals Biolucent Mineral Brightening Treatment. So this is rather pricey. I think it's around like $55 or so. You can get it at Sephora, which is where I get mine. And it's just something that I feel like I really do need in my skincare routine. Like my skin is so dramatically different when I start using this. I'd say within the first week. What it does is it basically just brightens your skin tone. If you have any acne marks or redness, it's going to lighten them up, you know, scars, anything like that. And it just brightens everything overall. And it just looks so much better without makeup on. Now, obviously it's not going to get rid of any acne or anything like that, but I do notice if you, um, just want a better looking complexion, then I would 100% recommend this to you guys. This is something new I've been using for my hair. It's from Garnier Fructis. It's called the Damage Eraser Strength Reconstructing Butter. So what I do is every time I take a shower, I will shampoo my hair and then I will go in with this after my shampoo is all rinsed out. I will only put this on the ends of my hair and I'll just kind of let it sit while I do other things in the shower like shave and wash my body and then I will rinse it out and I notice definitely that my hair has been looking shinier. So I told you guys before um, in a recent video that I am trying to refrain from getting my hair 
touched at all. I, I'm trying to not color it. I love the color that it is right now. It is slightly dull, I'd say, like around my roots and stuff, which is normal, you know, for not getting your hair colored for a long period of time because my hair is growing and um, my natural hair color is kind of like a mousy brown. <laughs> but I'm trying to keep my hair looking nice and shiny and still healthy looking while I'm in this phase of letting it grow and, and not trying to, you know, touch it with any chemicals or color and whatnot. So I do feel like this has really been helping me out. I was like big time concerned with my hair um, before I started using this. Like I just felt like it looked so dry and I need it now. <laughs> like I need it in my life. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Kept it short and sweet for you guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.